Hi guys, Paul Pluter on the Paul Pluter channel. And today I'm making this video for my good friend, Sam. Sam is the guy who had those wonderful tattoos. And uh, I was talking about that. And uh, before I go on, remember, like, subscribe, tell your friends about my channel. And remember, man cannot live on Google Ads alone. Please get me to do a review. I need the paid reviews to keep the channel afloat. Now, let's have a look here. Uh, Sam says, hi, Arch. Thanks again for the vid. I made him a video about tattoos and luxury watches. I sent that 50 bucks when I sent the additional photos of my new Hulk and my fresh from service Panerai 312. I was thinking you could add those to the video. No worries though, just keep the money. It's worth it to me just to have you creating content for us. Uh, I'm not your average watch collector. I love high-end expensive watches and high-end expensive tattoos. I really got a kick out of reading the comments from your viewers regarding my tattoos. I bet over half of them can't even afford a 36 mil datejust. Keep the videos coming, man. Uh, my wife and I love what you do. Even my 10-year-old son uh, watches uh, with me. He is a watch nerd also. He wears a tag. Let me know if you ever need anything, Sam. Thank you so much, Sam. So um, he sent me some wonderful pics there. He had his, uh, his Hulk, which I might add, he's had fitted with a, uh, a display back. A display back. And uh, this is quite fascinating because uh, the movement's not a finished movement. It was never meant to be a display back there. But it's quite a, uh, yeah, it's interesting. Very interesting indeed. And hey, why not? If it's your watch, do what you like with it. Uh, I got to tell you, I love, I love the photo. He sent me a photo of his Pam 312. Which, I got to tell you, I think that is a perfect, one of the best looking Panerai's around. Uh, I love the look of the 312. Uh, I love how he's got his Mercedes in the background. His tattoo, his tattooed hand, and the watch on the wrist. And it, it, uh, I ain't going to give him no trouble. He's a cool guy. And uh, I got to tell you, this world we live in, see, we don't have to fit the stereotype if we're into tattoos, we're bikers or we're broke. No, no, no. This world is such that you can be a multi-millionaire and rock the tattoos. And I got to tell you, they, um, they're they very creative. He's got some beautiful ink. Absolutely stunning ink. And uh, I love the Mercedes. Uh, absolutely stunning. I, I love... I love these pieces. These pieces really, really rock there. And uh, thank you so much for getting your son involved on the channel. It's, I reckon a Tag Hoyer is a great place to start for a, uh, a kid. That's a great way. I mean, look, I, 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 uh, I mean, I, I had a, I did a review yesterday of a Russian kid who's been given these wonderful watches, wonderful, wonderful watches. And, you know, he, he, he was a nice enough kid, but I don't think you appreciate things if you have them given to you on a silver tray. I think it's much better off to have the struggle, to work for them, to understand you've got to put a bit of time into uh, achieving these goals there. It's not just, just, they're not just given to you. Society doesn't owe you a living. And uh, I, I think it's, look, he had a great collection. He was a nice guy, no problems. But um, I, I think it's better off to start off with affordable watches. And, I mean, look, Tag Heuer for a kid is a great genre to start from. It's a great genre. And uh, if you buy them secondhand, you're really not going to do too badly because they, they are quite saleable. I mean, you can criticize Tag Heuer all you want. But um, i I got to tell you, i got to tell you that um, they are very, very... You know, they, they are easy to sell. I, I always, I used to buy the, the, those Formula Ones years ago when I was uh, in the watch business. They always sold. They always sold. People wanted an inexpensive Tag Heuer. And uh, 
Look, they are what they are. They're, they're not Rolex, but hey, they're at a different price point. And uh, give the kid a break. Give the kid a break. I think Tag Hoy is a great way to go. I actually do like some of the, the current tags now. I mean, you cannot... Uh, you look at Hoyer's history, they've got some great history. They had um, uh, some, you know, the, Mon the Monaco, uh, the Carreras, Carrera Chronograph, um, Ortavia, some absolutely cracking models there. And I've got to say, in all honesty there, I think Tag Hoyer is... You know, it's not a brand that I, I want to own a lot of, but would I have one in my collection? I'd have a Hoya in my, I'd have a, a Carrera in my collection or, or a, um, uh, I'd have a, a Monaco in my collection. That's the square chronograph. I, I reckon they're very cool. They're, um, look, there's some pieces I don't like. There are some pieces I think are pretty cool. So uh, Tag Heuer itself, um, for a young kid, 10-year-old son, hey, that's perfect brand, perfect intro into watches. And uh, you can trade up and uh, into, into you know, Amiga, Rolex, down the track. And uh, it's good, I reckon it's good for kids to have a bit of a struggle and work out, hey, you've got to work, earn these things. It's a great role model. And um, I got to tell you, I love the ink. I really do love the ink. If I wasn't so fat and had let myself go, I'd, I'd, I'd get a bit of ink myself. I would really, I would seriously consider getting some ink. And uh, I like the stereotypes. I got a, a good, uh, a guy I know, he's not really a friend, but he's, he's a very, very successful commercial lawyer. And uh, he's always wearing a suit. But he's got ink. He's fully inked. He's fully inked. So... You know, you can't stereotype ink anyway. You know, I think uh, a lot of ink itself there is uh, is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And I love your ink. you got some great ink. So, uh, well done, Sam. i got to say that to you. Well done. Uh, I love the 312. That is a, in my opinion, that is kind of the, the kind of uh, Panerai I'd love to get. I also love the Pam 111, which is basically uh, just a... Very simple manual wine, no date, sub second at nine, or a one one two with no sub second, just minute hour. I think that is just gorgeous. Uh, the three one two, I gotta tell you, I actually do like. I think that's a classic, gorgeous Panerai, and uh, I love the Hulk. I love the Hulk. What do I think? What do I think of that display back? Man, I got to tell you. <laughs> what do I think of the display back? Um, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. You may, must make sure you always keep the original back. But uh, it is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Would I do it myself? Probably not. Probably not. But... It doesn't make it... It's pretty cool to look at it. It's very cool. Very cool. So, uh, Sam, thank you so much for your support. I love it. To, love you to death. You're a great guy. Great fan. Uh, Sam, thank you so much. I'm Archie Luxury. This is the Paul Pluto Channel. Tell me, guys, what do you think of that? <laughs>